Hello guys, this is going to be the 11th week update on the Ecosphere experiment. And over here we have another jar, but it's not going to be a part of this video because that jar is on a completely different lake and it's not a part of the parameters of this experiment. But in this video we're going to be going over the changes that have happened in each of the four jars and we're going to see what organisms live there now. In the Lake Ecosphere jar, a lot of things have changed. As you can see, the copepod and ostracod populations have went up by a big number, and the brush of algae has exploded. It literally covers the, almost the entire jar now. So it's very exciting to see how the algae is beginning to even grow on the bottom of the jar, covering the soil and rock substrate layer, and how the copepods and ostracods are growing, and their population is sustainable. They've been going up and down in cycles, and that's always good to see. The flatworms are hibernating now. They did come out for a bit, but they go under the substrate layer all the way on the bottom of the jar, and they barely come out now, but I see them from time to time, so that's how I know they're still here. So yeah, this is what happened in the Lake Ecosphere jar. Population's going up, and that's exciting. So moving on to the next jar. Over here, we have the sand ecosphere jar, and we have a bunch of snail egg sacs. You see this one over here, there's one right there, and a bunch of tiny snails all over this glass. All these black dots are snails. There's literally, I think, maybe close to 100 to 200 tiny snails in this jar. and. The environment went from a dark water environment back to a clear environment, and nearly all the algae has been eaten by these snails. It's almost gone. So the snail population is not sustainable in this jar, and it does look like this ecosphere will die out, because the rate these snails are producing at, and the rate they're consuming all... Here's another egg sac, by the way. They're consuming all the algae in this jar, it looks like it's going to run out of producers, and it's going to probably lead to the death of this jar. As you can see, there's no uh, copepods or ostracods left, or barely any. I see maybe about 10 of them. I'm not sure if that's a sustainable population. We got a couple water mites still. But yeah, it doesn't seem like this jar is going to last long due to the explosion of snails that have occurred in this jar. Now moving on to the pond rock jar. This jar has surprisingly did well. With the initial snail population boom, I thought it would die, but the snail population has gone down now, and a substrate layer is forming with all the dying copepods and ostracods. I also saw a couple brine shrimp in here, which means that the water parameters must have been pretty good, since they are producing, and yeah, there's still like four snails in this jar. And it's doing pretty well. We got a couple copepods here, but as you know, most of the copepod and ostracods are hiding under these rocks over here. And we can see that because when they die, they leave this substrate layer. So they must be enjoying the rocks as some sort of protection. But yeah, it's been going pretty well. And finally, we're moving on to the control jar. And the control jar is doing a lot better than the sand ecosphere jar right now. It's still growing, which is good. We still have a substrate layer forming, but now we have new algae growth coming, which is surprising because I thought nothing could grow in this jar, but apparently things can. There's a lot of parasitic worms in this jar, a couple copepods, ostracods, here's one. But overall, this jar is doing extremely well. So yeah, that's what happened in the control jar. Now moving on to... This jar over here, I just want you guys to know that this jar, let me zoom out, is a new ecosphere jar I started. It has water from uh, Lake Erie. I got this a long time ago. But yeah, so far it's doing pretty well. There's only about a couple of copepods, ostracods, but you know, it's still growing. It's developing, so I'll give it maybe a month or two to see how much it develops in that time. But yeah. That has been the Ecosphere Experiment update. We have seen how the Lake Ecosphere Jar has completely stabilized. The Sand Ecosphere Jar over here 
is probably on its way to dying with the 200 to maybe even 300 snails there. The pond ecosphere jar is doing extremely well with just four snails and a bunch of brine shrimp, copepods, and ostracods. And the control jar has a couple parasitic worms. The copepod, ostracod population is growing. They're about up to 50 now. And yeah, I think that the lake ecosphere jar, the pond rock jar, and the control jar will last a long time. And I do think the sand ecosphere jar will die due to the snail explosion. So uh, if you guys like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. And yeah, this has been the 11th week update on the ecosphere experiment. So thank you guys for watching. Bye.